This is our town, and there's no other town like it. Under the Friday night lights, we pack the Brindy. All the blood, sweat, and tears are a welcomed opportunity. Storm hockey, where every inch of ice is earned. Here in Campbell River, hockey is more than just a game. It's a way of life. Our town, our team. This is Into the Storm. Upgrade the old Strathcona Gardens or Rod Brindamore Arena, depending on who you talk to as to when it gets completed. But uh, sometime in the next few years, expunging out that one wall and adding seating on both sides. A little cramp for the 900 plus fans that show up every week for Friday night hockey. And we're underway in Campbell River, the Campbell River Storm, the Cary Park Islanders. Mitchell Williams will take the draw. He's got Messer and Wielden with him. Smith behind his own goal. Williams will get to it. Lamoureux. Chance! Scores! Derendinger! Derendinger moved in from the point, takes a shot. It squeezes through the pads of Red Rook. Campbell River up one. Islanders and Harvey now at the point. Harvey. He's got Williams on the opposite corner. Back to Williams. Good work by Williams to keep it in. Williams to Harvey. Harvey. Shot just in on goal and doesn't get through. Good block in front. Williams. Saucer pass to Harvey. Harvey with a shot. Deflection shot scores. Reed Wielden. Makes it two, nothing on the power play. As there was room, but Rook got the pad out there. Big collision in neutral ice, and 
The two players give each other a, a dirty look. That was Connors and Blake. And here comes Harvey. Harvey, nice move by Harvey. Harvey in close chance. Scores! It was Dawson Grant that got his stick on it. for the assist, that's what Blake does. Colin Blake, oh nice pass to Harvey, shot scores! Josh Harvey! As mentioned, 10 for the final, Sandwich over West Shore. Colin Blake will take the draw, pushes it forward. Colin Blake. Chance scores! Messer! Colin Blake, his second point of the night, to, to Messer, and Messer makes no mistake. They want that one. Messer's first junior goal, 13.54 left in the period. Can't get it out, Blake with it. Blake hit high and out of the play. But Blake gets to do it again. Blake, nice pass! Shot! Scores! That was a beautiful goal. Wouldn't it be nice to see these two guys play together on a regular basis? Colin Blake beats Pierce Messer with a beautiful goal. I can see that one. Ten seconds left. The bottomly, bottomly. He'll just kick the clock away, gets it to Gary Nigger, and that'll do it. The camera will restore him. 6-0 winners over the Cary Park Islanders in an entertaining and spirited affair. And he looked like a veteran out there. Wow, this goes through the eye. He's tripping around with a birdcage out there. Oh. Time for a little Sunday afternoon hockey at the Brindy. VIJHL on Hockey TV. So it's interesting to see the uh, captain, Ray McCartney, is back for the Glacier Kings. He's out there with uh, Marcelo Harry Keo on defense. We have Matteo Jomo, Jake McKenzie, and Nino as forwards. Our referee for tonight, Brady Kaspari, along with Liza John Fleming and Rory Marshall. We're underway in Campbell River, the Campbell River Storm, and the Comox Valley Glacier Kings. Knocked off his stick just as he was ready to shoot. Frank keeps it in. Giomo gets it out. Dawson Frank off the wall. Boise back to Frank. Frank, shot, scores! I think everybody in the building thought he was going to pass it. Yeah, that was just a great shot. Top right-hand corner over Morovic. 
that's his glove hand there. And you know what? You know, you know, Morovic wants to have a big game, right? He yeah. just left this team, what, about a week or two ago? Earhart, shot! Stopped by Morovic. Earhart, shot! Morovic with the save, juggles it, scores! <laughs> Looks like Reed Wielden with the goal. That's a tough one for the Glacier team. Back to back goals in less than a minute, I think, there. Lots of pressure. We talked about this just before the game started. Glacier Kings with a little pressure. Nice redirect in front of the Nets. Campbell River on their heels a bit. Back to the point. Shot scores. That was a goal that was building. Yeah, absolutely. That was just a great shot there. Lots of pressure, like you said. Uh, Withy put it in, number three in league, scoring 1999, Finn Withy, and he was Johnny on the spot there, getting a pass from Ahola. Morovic, he bent down that other end, but he didn't break. They're going to have to release some of that pressure. It, it's like he's trying to plug a dam with his fingers and his toes over there. Bottom lane, gets it into the skates of Brandt. Brandt to Frank. Frank gets by his man. Frank in on goal to Brandt. Brandt with a shot, scores! Christian Brandt! Beautiful setup by Dawson Frank. Campbell River goes up 3-1. That was just an excellent shot. Top left-hand corner by Brent. Blocker side on Morovic. And I don't think anybody's stopping that. That was just a fantastic shot by Brent. Lots of speed. Good Perfect crowd, shot. as you said, for a uh, Sunday afternoon game. Campbell River, of course, known for Friday night games. The Comox Valley, known for Saturday night games. So kind of a weird thing to have a Sunday afternoon game. But a good crowd, always a good crowd when the Glacier Kings are in town. Back to the point. Glacier Kings keep it in. Shot scores! Redirect! I think it was a hola that got his stick on it. Yeah, I think you're right. A hola off of Perry Kale, who uh, it's nice to see him back out there, obviously. He had gotten hurt a little bit earlier. He had a great shot from the point there. Deflection, I think you're right. Mark, it was for it. A hola. He fires it in behind the net. Goes to Bottomley in the opposite corner. Bottomley. Long bomb to Brett. Two on none. Brett. Earhart misses the net, scores! That's going to be a high stick. I think they're waving that off. And the referee's starting to wave it off. He's going to meet with the two linesmen. I think that was a high stick off of Brett. It was close. So it could go either way. Let's see what the referee is being with the linesmen. And he initially be. went to go wave it off, but he didn't even fully do that. And he's talked to the two linesmen now. This could go either way. Sheldon Brett made a pass. Earhart fired it over the net, went off the glass. Still in the air. No goal. They're saying no goal. This is a line. Taken into the boards. Oh, and a nice play by the Glacier King. And I don't know about that. Well, I'm surprised that's not a penalty on yeah, Blake there. Yeah, he, uh, he, he basically tackled him. Yeah, he tackled uh, Withy the there. You know... Geez, that's, it's, it's really tough when there's only one ref out here. Uh, you know what? That's one of my pet peeves. Blake, shot scores! Top corner. Boy, that's a, that's a really tough one. A great shot by Blake, but yeah. you know he probably should have had a penalty just before that hauling down with him. But, you know, uh, I think you make a great point there, Mark. It doesn't make it. Eight seconds left. And that'll do it. Campbell River Storm defeat the Comox Valley Glacier Kings 4-2 and have a 2-1 regular season lead. And time now for the Mike Reston three-star selection. And last... In by Oishi, spinning out of the circle, shoots the scores! Kobe Oishi wins it in double overtime, and the Storm take a two game to none lead! Uh, my last year in Kelowna, I was playing midget with the Okung Rockets, and Lee had contacted me that summer. Um, it wasn't the first time, but uh, he had called me, and he was pretty serious about signing me. And I knew it was a good program from Colfron as he played there the year before. And everything just seemed like it was the right fit. Um, 
Yeah, Town River welcomed me with, with open arms and uh, everything were dope. Our parents were friends in high school and stuff, so it was kind of like when we were like, when they were friends, they kind of had kids together, so we'd be the same age so we could play and stuff. Uh, we went through kindergarten all the way up to like grade 12 together, playing hockey and baseball together. So yeah, I've, I've, I've kind of, you know, known the guy for a while, been, been blessed enough to know the guy. Showed up to camp, uh, Lee was pretty, uh, pretty persistent on me wearing the C throughout the summer. Um, I hadn't really made up my mind. Uh, I came to camp and just saw the boys. I uh, saw how, how excited everyone was for the season, and uh, I just thought it would be a good idea. Um, I just remember the first time I ever kind of like really talked with Kobe and, and uh, like bond with him. We were on the, on the bus on, on uh, way back from, I think it might have been Sanitary or Peninsula, so a bit of a longer one. And I just went and sat with him for a while and like just we just kind of talked and like that was the first time I kind of really got to know Kobe and who he was as a guy and like I've uh, been really close with him ever since. Like he's one of my, like, not just one of my best friends on the team, but one of my best friends that away from the rink in life. Like he's a really good guy. We, uh, he was a guy that I always looked across from to and saw him smiling. Uh, always seemed to be energetic and definitely one of the guys that uh, we could lean on on the team. And um, as a young guy last year, I really looked up to him as a role model. And I definitely couldn't role model my game after him, but I tried to like role model my work, work ethic after him. Um, now I think Kobe's definitely a strong leader. Um, guys look to him for a big block shot, a good defensive zone play. Um, little things is just chipping the puck off the wall and making a strong play. You know, it's not always pretty with Kobe, but he's definitely doing his job properly. And guys take that away and they try to use it in their own game too. I think. Kobe was the first guy to introduce himself to me. Comes off as the greatest guy. Uh, every game, every practice, he's the hardest working player out there, and you can notice it. He take a bullet for every one of us, and that's what makes him the greatest leader on our team. Best captain in the league, like, you know, everybody respects him. I mean, guys on other teams respect him, so, you know, just, just does a heck of a job up here. ...of Camp River, um, I thought it was pretty, pretty small town. I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, I wasn't really used to it. Uh, and then uh, the first game in the Brindy, uh, just seeing all those fans going wild, it was uh, pretty special. I knew it was uh, definitely a privilege to play from that. Um, not every team is is granted that. Uh, so I think we're pretty pretty special to have the people that we do at Cal River. Yeah. 